Hello guys, Sam here at Lancaster Automart. The winds have just about died down after Storm Kira, where I was trying my hardest not to get sucked off, pardon the pun. This beautiful Q3 rocked up during the uh, during the storm, so for first day with the winds a bit nicer, I'll get it videoed straight away. So it's the Audi Q3 2, D, 2 litre TDI S-Line, which looks fantastic. The S-Lines are a beautiful spec. This one was registered in 2015, and it's on a 15 plate. Represents great value for money at 14,665. It's done just under 40,000 miles. Two previous keepers. The last keeper only got rid of this one because he's having a little baby and he wanted something a little bit cheaper. So this one's got a full service history. It's the manual diesel. It'll give you up to 67.3 miles per gallon, which out of a car the size is absolutely phenomenal. You get 9.3 second naught to 60, so it doesn't drag its feet, giving you 148 brake horsepower in total and giving you 126 miles per hour top speed, providing you don't get caught, of course. Now walk around it with you now and see what you guys think. So obviously starting at the front, you can just see those daytime running lights, which look really nice. Just help the car look a bit more sharp. Nice uh, five spoke silver 18 inch alloy wheel on this one. That S-Line badge on the side. As I move back, you've got the chrome surround on the windows, which looks nice. You've also got the, the uh, chrome roof rails as well, which look really cool. Nice booty shot. Moving around to the back, you've got the dual exhaust. You've also got parking sensors on the back of this one as well. So nice and easy to park. There you go. So nice big boot. Definitely enough room for the kids in there or some ball bags, dead bodies. I don't know what you guys are up to. Under here, you've got a nice space saver spare wheel, which doesn't come with most cars nowadays. So that's a real big bonus. Now it is electric tailgate as well. So the button just here, give that a press and that'll close it up. You can just see the reversing camera pop into shot there as well. So really easy to park it with the reversing car parking sensors and the rear camera as well. Open that up. So it's a half leather, half cloth interior. Loads and loads of space on there. You've got Isofix on the outer seats as well. As I mentioned, it has just come in. So pardon a little bit of mess. It's not too bad. So I thought I'd video it for you. Full electric windows. You've got a little bit of storage down there as well. Speakers integrated into all the door cards, which sound really cool. So nice sound system on this one. Nice door card there. Full electric windows, electric adjustable door mirrors and heated door mirrors as well. Really nice dashboard with a screen that pops up in the center. Nice half leather, half cloth seats. You've got the leg extensions there as well. You've also got lumbar support at the bottom. Let me jump in for you. So the car has been running just to get a little bit warm because I'm a bit of a softy and I don't like the cold too much. So I'm going to turn that fan speed down. Okay, so as you can see in the middle, you've got all sorts of information on there. It's telling us that we need to fuel up, which I'll do after this video. But what you can see is 39,280 miles, so it's not done too many on the mileage. You've got um, the information display in the centre. So let me just have a little flick through here so to see what it does. So my phone's connected. All my contacts and stuff are there. It's letting me know the status of stop start. It's giving you a few options in terms of bits that you can do. So digital speedo, your miles per gallon, all that sort of stuff, which is really cool, which I really like. As I zoom backwards, you've got a multifunctioning steering wheel, S-line with the perforations, looks really nice. These buttons here do the computer screen in the middle there. This one on this side does your volume control, your voice command and your navigation bit. You've got a couple of stalks here for your indicators, another one there for your wipers, and you've also got one down here for your headlights. Your headlights are automatic, so you don't actually need to do anything with those if you don't want to. The car will do everything it needs. You just put your fog lights on. You've also got a brightness uh, adjuster here for the clocks in the centre. If they're a little bit too bright, you can dim them and vice versa. So my phone's connected at the moment, so that's my Bluetooth. You've also got radio, which is FM, AM, digital on there as well. Bit of shot of Paul, nothing wrong with that. Then you've also got um, USB inputs, auxiliary inputs, inputs for your SD card as well. So loads of ways to connect your MP3 player or your Bluetooth player and, uh, and play whatever music you've got, whatever you want to listen to. You've then got the CD player as well actually, which I don't think I mentioned. Let's just go back out of here and show you the menu page. The menu looks really nice on this one as well. So there you go. So you've got car, which gives you information about, say if any tires are running a bit low, if you need a service coming up or anything like that. Bluetooth telephone, you've got your car's information. Navigation, which is really nice. You've got a crystal clear sat nav on here. Um, you do need the SD card to be in. Uh, so you can get one of those through, through Audi themselves and they'll They'll provide that. That just activates the uh, the SD card. Sorry, that just activates the sat nav system for you. 
um, let's go back into that. You've got media, which is, as I say, CD player, auxiliary, USB, Bluetooth, radio, FM, AM, digital. So all sorts of stuff on here. And this does fold down as well, which I think is really cool. A bit further down, all the buttons are here to control that system at the top there. As we move down a little bit further, you've got drive mode, so like eco, sport, normal mode, that sort of stuff. Stop, start to help you save some fuel, traction control, parking sensors. You have got dual zone climate control, so your passenger can have one temperature and you can have another. That just stops any arguments. You've got a heated rear windscreen, you've got a pollen filter as well for your hay fever sufferers, and a quick clear front windscreen as well. So dead, dead easy to clear. You won't be waiting outside freezing for too long. Six speed gearbox as well. You've got the electronic handbrake. You've also got power inputs down here as well. A couple holders there. You've got a nice lever armrest, and as you lift it up, you've got a little bit more storage in there as well. So all sorts of stuff in this one, guys. Loads and loads of kit on it. Get yourself out Lancaster Automat, take it for a drive. You will love it. It won't be here for too long. Ask for Sam and I'll look after you. Cheers, guys. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.